Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 456, or the Midnight Glacier. This one is a really cryptic and dark, mysterious level that I think you're really going to enjoy. Without further ado, let's get into the explanation. So level 456, or the Midnight Glacier, is classified as a class 4G, which stands for gravitational, and is unsafe, unsecure, and is gravitationally unstable. Now that is probably one of the most unique classifications that I've seen, so far at least. The level physically takes place on a massive glacier, and the environment in and around this glacier is very strange and toxic, like literally the air and the ground is toxic. The level is always at nighttime, and the temperature is freezing cold. The average is negative 68 Celsius, or negative 90 Fahrenheit, and on top of this, there are random blizzards that pop up all the time, so that's, that's cool. So during a blizzard or any other type of storm, huge hailstones fall out of the sky, and this hail itself is very, very toxic, and is made up of really hazardous chemicals. And these chemicals are actually inside of the hail's core, and they have really weird properties that allow them to change the gravity around the area where they land. So if a hailstone falls from the sky, hits the ground, the gravity in that area will be different. It either will be harder and it'll pull you down to the earth, or you'll be able to float. It just depends. But in any case, the liquid is very dangerous inside of the hailstones because there are small amounts of methane in them, and that's a dangerous chemical, obviously. So the chemicals with methane and other dangerous stuff inside of them fall to the ground at fast speeds and explode all over the place, spewing the chemical juice everywhere, and this juice can affect gravity and it'll make the air toxic and the ground toxic as well. As you can imagine, the entirety of this level has a very strange gravitational area, I guess you could call it. It's always changing. Sometimes things can fall really fast, and sometimes things can float. There's even been someone that saw ice flying sideways instead of straight down, so that just goes to show you how weird it is. The entirety of the level is just a barren, frozen wasteland with these chemical lakes and ponds dotted around, but there's also some evidence that shows that there used to be buildings here, or there still are. The buildings are fallout type shelters and were at one time fully built up but now they're kind of crumbly and dilapidated and just decomposing some of the walls inside of the underground bases are fully destroyed or they're just on their way to be fully destroyed but almost every piece of it that sticks out of the ground is destroyed it's rubble inside of these rooms there are leftovers of the people who used to live here small supplies and canned food pretty much the underground chambers that I mentioned are actually the most dangerous place to be in this level because of the gravity that can switch on or off and you can fall down long hallways or fall really far into holes. The rooms down there are mostly still intact, but there is one room that should be avoided at all costs. It's called the Frostbite Chamber, and the temperature inside of it was measured to be negative 146 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 98.8 Celsius, which could unalive a human within a few minutes of being exposed to it just because of how cold it is. And as I mentioned, even though some of the rooms of these shelters can seem safe, you probably should not stay in them because of the gravitational properties here. Occasionally, on the surface and inside of the shelters, there are signs of an entity called the Groaned. And the Groans are these lizard-like entities that run around in packs. They eat whatever they can find. They're kind of like wolves, because they run in packs, but they're big lizards. They have really, really thick skin that keeps all the cold out, and they typically burrow directly into the ice in this level. But sometimes, they do like to live in the fallout shelters. Their skin also leaks a very weird liquid, and this liquid is pretty similar to the stuff inside of the hailstones, so it's toxic. Not only is it toxic, it also gives the groans the ability to not be able to be affected by gravity, which is pretty cool. Back on the surface of this level, even the ice itself that you could stand on is dangerous, because the layer of ice directly under the surface is made out of a special type of ice called profundus, or subterra ice, which makes anyone who steps on it get infections. Any kind of infection. It's made up of liquid methane, carbon monoxide, and other unknown chemicals, so it's pretty much just a toxic slurry directly under that ice on top. If you see anywhere the top layer of ice chipped away or broken off, don't step under it because you could be in a world of hurt after that. So now I'm going to explain some of those gravitational anomalies that I've been talking about. The thing that's causing the gravity to change is actually the level itself. The levity sends a gravity pattern called the fluctus pulsar. Now this fluctus pulsar shifts and morphs and
and changes the actual field of gravity itself and changes its strengths. You can't physically see the shifts with your eyes, of course, but it was noticed that when someone looked through a thermal camera that they had, they could see the morphing and the changing, as pictured here. And these changes in gravity are dangerous, especially if you're jumping around or you're high up somewhere or if you're down in a hallway somewhere. You could just come crashing down at any second and there's no way to track it. To enter this frozen tundra, you can jump into any cold or frozen body of water in the back rooms randomly, and you'll end up here. This won't happen every time you jump into water, which is scary and makes it even rarer. To exit, you can risk going into the frostbite chamber in the fallout shelters to go to a trap door in the corner of the room, and by going through that door, you'll be sent to the level you came from. But as I said earlier, when I mentioned the frostbite room, those are extremely dangerous to go in, and you have to be ready, and you have to know what you're doing. Or you'll become a human popsicle. But yeah, this level is a massive frozen toxic glacier that has abandoned fallout shelters and packs of ice lizards that run around. Oh, and the gravity can be turned off and on at any time. Good stuff. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you watched to the end of it. And if you did, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Comment Frozen Brugly if you're still watching to this point. Also, make sure to tell me what levels you want me to go over. I'm interested in what you all want to see. Thank you so much for the support of the channels recently on all my channels. I'm so appreciative of you. The Brugly channel is still on the way to 500,000 subscribers, guys. So if you go ahead and drop a sub, when I get to 500k, I'm going to get the full Backrooms outfit and it's going to be awesome. We're on the way. We're almost to 400k so just hit that sub button if you want to it would mean a lot to me also i just uploaded a video over on Toogly where i hop into some rec rooms back rooms maps which is a vr type thing and i got six of you guys six fans to join with me and we went over several back rooms levels in that game it was a blast to play uh, go check it out if you want more of that and also i'm uploading another video on spoogly tomorrow so check it out when that goes up make sure you have the post notice turned on it's over siren head so yeah bunches of stuff going up on all my channels i hope you're ready thank you for watching and supporting me i appreciate it also i just want to thank you all so much because the channel just hit 62 million channel views 62 million so we are well on the way to 100 million channel views which is <laughs> that is literally so many. That's a third of the entire U.S. population, people. That is insane. And I, I owe it all to you. Thank you so much for that from the bottom of my heart.